Presentation Plus is available exclusively with the new 4th edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. Unit 6 My sister works downtown. Page 36 1 1. Les mots d'exercice numéro 1 Les mots à la langue anglaise et après Les mots à la langue française Top Bottom British bottom American bottom T softy Transportation Transportation Ways of going to different places. The U.S. The United States. Way. Get to. Go to. Get to. Go to. T. Soft D. Drive. Drove. Driving. Walk. Walked. Walked. American walk, British walk, take the bus, take the subway, take the train, ride a bike, ride a bicycle, ride a motorcycle, take a taxi, take a cab, take a taxi, take a cab, two, suburb, our skirt an outside area of a city an outside area of a city downtown the business center of city public transportation transportation everybody can use such as buses private transportation slow not fast fast quick family wife husband son daughter daughter British American daughter brother sister Parents, a father and a mother. Kids, children. Mom, mother. Dad, father. American, father. British, father. Who makes the R silent? Father. American, father. Three, words of exercise number three. Trois, c'est les mots. D'exercice numéro 3 de l'unité 6. Don't. American, don't. Do not. Doesn't. Does not. Retired. On pension. Not working. Not working. Especially because of age. I have. You have. We have, they have, he has, she has, it has, I do, you do, we do, they do, he does, she does, it does, apartment, flat, Sometimes, together, partner, a friend in class, classmate. Five, study, studied, studied, dance, danced, danced. This is the past, this is the PP, past participle. Watch, watched, watched, a watch.
British watch. Six, male, man. Female, woman. Circum femina. Unit six. My sister works downtown. My sister works downtown. Downtown, the city center. The center of the city. One, listen and practice. Transportation in the U.S. The top eight ways to get to work. Listen and practice. One, drive. Two, walk. Three, take the bus. Four, take the subway. Five, take the train. Six, ride a bike. Seven, take a taxi. Take a cab. Eight, ride a motorcycle. Exercise one, listen and practice. Listen and repeat. Transportation in the U.S. Transportation, the top eight ways to get to work. When you go to work. What do you use? One, drive. Drive a car. Two, walk. Walk. To go to work on foot. On foot. Three, take the bus. Four, take the subway. Subway, underground. The underground. Five, take the train. Six, ride a bike, a bike, a bicycle, a bicycle. Seven, take a taxi, take a cab. Cab, this is cab, this is taxi. Eight, ride a motorcycle. Ride a motorcycle. Transportation. Drive a car. Transportation, a car, bus, subway, train. Transportation. Drive a car. Take a bus. Take the subway. The subway, the underground. Take the train. Ride. Ride a bike, ride a bicycle, ride a motorcycle, walk to go on foot. On foot, you walk. How do you go to school? I go on foot. On, on foot, it means to walk. Walk, British, American, walk. On, British, American, on. Take care. Sometimes we use these verbs with these nouns. Drive a car, take a bus, take the subway, take the train, take the underground, ride a bike, ride a motorcycle, ride a bike, ride a bicycle. Walk means go on foot to go on foot kind of transportation double decker this is double decker bus with two levels a bus with two levels double decker double decker a bus with two levels.
वन लेवल एंड सेकेंड लेवल फेरी फेरी शेप फेरी अ फेरी अ शेप डबल डेकर अ फेरी अ शेप चेक थ्रू द काइंड ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन यू यूज So what do you use? I go to work by bus. I take the bus. I go to work by bus. I take the bus. Egyptians take the subway. Egyptians take the subway. They like to take the subway. I travel by by the train. I travel by the train. What are some other kinds of transportation? In Egypt, in Alex, we use the decker, double decker. We use the cable car in Lebanon. We use the ferry, ferry, a ship. We use the ferry. Exercise number two. Look at the picture. What do you see? A young man, a young lady, a car, a red car. a house some trees a garden garden grass two conversation nice car listen and practice listen and repeat Page 36, exercise 2, conversation. Nice car. Listen and practice. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. Ashley and Jason talking. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? Nice car, beautiful car. Wonderful car. Is it is it yours? Is this your car? No. It's my sister's car. This is the car of my sister. She has a new job and she drives to work. Jason's sister has a job and she goes to work by this car. Is her job in the suburbs? In the suburbs, our skirts, our skirts, areas around the capital, around the main city, not in downtown. No, it's downtown. Downtown, the center of the city, the city center. My parents work downtown. But they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. Ashley's parents, parents, father and mother, work downtown. They work in the city center. They don't drive to work. They don't have a car. They use public transportation. Public transportation, such as the train, the bus. 
the subway. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. Answer this question. Is this car... Is this Jason's car? No, it's not Jason's car. It's his sister's car. Where does Jason's sister work? Jason's sister, Jason's sister works downtown. Where do Ashley's parents work? Ashley's parents, Ashley's father and mother work downtown, downtown the city center. How do Ashley's parents go to work? They go to work by public transportation. They don't drive to work. Do Ashley's parents, do Ashley's father and mother use the bus or the train? They use the bus. They take the bus. Why? Because the train doesn't stop near their house. Exercise number three, word power family. Here, family, family, father, mother, parents, parents, father, and mother, son, daughter. We call this family. A family, mom, mom, dad, son, and daughter. So the family, we have Paul and Anne. Paul and Anne are husband and wife. They're married. They are married, husband, Paul, and the wife, Anne. Then, they have children. Children, kids. They have Jason and Emily. Jason and Emily are son and daughter for Paul and Anne. Jason, the son. Emily, daughter. Jason is a brother. Is the brother of Emily. And Emily is the sister. Is the sister of Jason. Emily is the sister of Jason. Jason and Emily are the children of Paul and Anne. Paul and Anne are the parents, parents, father and mother. Paul and Anne are the parents of Jason and Emily. Listen. Page 37, Exercise 3, Word Power, Family, Part A, Pair Work. Complete the sentences about the Carter family. Then listen and check your answers. 1. Anne is Paul's wife. 2. Jason and Emily are their children. 3. Paul is Anne's husband. 4. Jason is Anne's son. 5. Emily is Paul's daughter. 6. Jason is Emily's brother. 7. Emily is Jason's sister. 
Paul and Anne are Jason's parents. Now, let's answer the questions. One, Anne is Paul's wife. Two, Jason and Emily are their, are their children. Are their children. Three, Paul is Anne's, Paul is Anne's husband. Husband. Four, Jason, Jason is Anne's son. Five, Emily is Paul's daughter, daughter. Six, Jason is Emily's brother, Jason is Emily's brother. Seven, Emily is Jason's sister, Emily is Jason's sister. Paul and Anne are Jason's parents, parents. Again, the answers, one, wife, two, children, three, husband, four, son, five, daughter, six, brother, seven, sister, eight, parents. Of course, kids, children, mom, Mother, dad, father, kids, mom, dad, children, mother, father. So we use this in speaking, we use this in writing. B. Where work? Who are the people in your family? What are their names? My mother's name is Angela. My brother's names are David and Daniel. Now, can you tell the class about your family? My name is Ahmed. My brothers are Rifat, Fathi, and Mustafa. My sister is Ahlam. My dad is Abdul Ghan. Exercise 4 Page 37, Exercise 4 Grammar Focus Simple Present Statements I walk to school. I don't live far from here. You ride your bike to school. You don't live near here. He works near here. He doesn't work downtown. She takes the bus to work. She doesn't drive to work. We live with our parents. We don't live alone. They use public transportation. They don't need a car. Don't equals do not. Doesn't equals does not. Assemble present statements. The simple present, I walk, you ride, he works, she takes, we live, they use. So the form, he, she, it, verb, with s, works, takes, he works, she takes, I, you, we, they, verb. Verb on like I walk, you ride, we live, they use. Negative. The negative to say no. I walk. I don't live. You ride. You don't live. He works, he doesn't work, she takes, she doesn't drive. We live, we don't live, they use, they don't need a car. They use public transportation, they don't need a car. Negative, how? I, you, we, they, don't, plus verb, 
he, she, it, doesn't, plus verb, plus main verb, infinitive without t. Hello again and welcome to the interchange intro video for unit 6. Today we are talking about simple present. Okay, so let's get started. This is Homer Simpson. He has a wife and three children. He lives in a pink house. He works at a nuclear power plant. He likes donuts. What is his routine every day? He wakes up at 5.30. He takes a shower at 5.45. He eats breakfast at 6.15 or he has breakfast at 6.15. He drives to work at 7. He finishes work at 5. He eats dinner at 7. Or he has dinner at 7. He watches TV at 8. And he goes to bed at 10. Or he goes to sleep at 10. And that is his routine. Okay, so. Today, the grammar is the simple present. The simple present is for routine actions and permanent things. For example, a routine. On Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, and on Friday, he wakes up at 5.30. His routine, he wakes up at 5.30, the simple present. Also, permanent things, for example, descriptions. He has a family, permanent. Also, a description. He has a family. He likes donuts. Again, a description of his personality. He likes donuts. Again, the simple present we use for routines and also permanent things, for example, descriptions. Very good. Now, the present simple conjugation is very, very easy. The subjects I, you, they, and we use the simple form of the verb. For example, they watch TV at night. The verb is in the simple form. Now, for the subjects, he, she, and it, 
we use a third person conjugation. The verb and s or es. For example, he watches TV at night. Again, the third person, he, uses conjugation with es, watches, or she watches TV at night, or it watches TV at night. Again, the conjugation with I, you, they, and we, we use the normal verb. With he, she, and it, we use the third person conjugation, the verb, and s, or es. Very good. Now, the irregular verbs for the simple present are go, do, and have. With the subjects I, you, we, and they, the verb is in the normal form. Go, do, and have. But with the subjects he, she, and it, the third person conjugation is irregular. For example, goes, does, has. Again, the third person conjugation is irregular. Go goes, does, and has for he, she, and it. Very good. Okay, okay, so now it's time to look at the negative form of the simple present. For the subjects I, you, they, and we, we use the negative auxiliary don't and the verb. Don't and the verb is the negative simple form. For example, they don't watch TV at night. The negative don't and the normal verb watch. Don't watch. Very good. Now for the third person subjects, he, she, and it, the negative auxiliary is doesn't. And that's the third person conjugation. We use the normal verb in the negative. For example, he doesn't watch TV at night. The normal verb. The third person conjugation is on the negative auxiliary. He doesn't. He doesn't watch TV at night. Or, she doesn't watch TV at night. Or, it doesn't watch TV at night. Again, the negative simple present form. The subjects I, you, they, and we use don't and the normal verb. The third person, he, she, it, we use doesn't for the negative and also the normal verb. Very good. Time to practice the negatives and the affirmations. For example, I do the homework. I don't do the homework. The negative auxiliary and the normal verb. I don't do the homework. Very good. Okay, so now you understand the simple present 
and how to use the negative form. Now, the next page is some spelling for the third person. Sometimes we use the verb and ES or IES. So take a moment to look at the rules for the third person spelling. All right. Thanks for watching, guys, and good luck. Let's answer the question. A. Paul Carter is talking about his family. Complete the sentences with the correct verb forms. Then compare with the partner. So in this exercise, you will choose the correct answer, like live or lives. You should focus on the verb. You look at the verb and the subject. If the subject, he, she, it, put on the verb s. Choose the verb with s. The subject, I, we, you, they, put the main verb. My family and I live in the suburbs. The suburbs areas around the city. My wife and I work. My wife and I work near here. So we walk. We walk to work. Our daughter Emily. Our daughter Emily. Emily. She. She works. Works. So our daughter Emily works downtown so she drives she drives to work she drives to work our son he our son doesn't drive our son doesn't drive he rides he Verb with S. He rides his bike to school. Number one answers. Live. Work. Walk. Works. Works. Drives doesn't rides exercise number two my parents my parents mom and dad father and mother they they live or lives they live. My parents live in the city. My mother, my mother, she. My mother takes, verb with this. My mother takes a train to work. My father is retired. Retired on pension. Doesn't work. He doesn't work. So, he doesn't work now. My father is retired, so he doesn't work now. He also, he uses, with S, he uses public transportation. So, they, they don't, they don't need a car. Exercise to answers. Exercise 4, A, number 2, live, takes, doesn't, uses, done, simple present statements with irregular verbs. Irregular verbs, we don't put S with he, she, it. this is irregular. 
Page 38, Exercise 4, Grammar Focus. Simple present statements with irregular verbs. I, you, we, they. He, she, it. I have a bike. My father has a car. We do our homework every day. My mother does a lot of work at home. My parents go to work by bus. The bus goes downtown. In this exercise, we have irregular verbs. Irregular verbs, verbs that do not follow the rules. They don't go with the rules. Example, I say, I, you, we, they, verb, I have, we have, you have, they have. Okay? He, she, it, I should put S to say haves, but no, this is wrong. I say, he, she, it, has. My father has a car. I have a bike. My father has a car. So in this verb, you have to keep it by heart, to memorize it. We do our homework every day. We, you, they, I, do. He, she, it, does. Put ES. My mother does. Does a lot of work at home. My parents, they, mom and dad. My parents, my parents, they, mom and dad. My parents go to work by bus. They go. The bus goes. It goes. ES. We add ES, not S only. We put ES, not S. The bus goes downtown. Ashley is talking about her family and her friend Jason. So Ashley is talking about her family and her friend Jason. Complete the sentences, then compare with a partner. B. One, my parents have a house in the suburbs. My mom and dad go or goes, mom and dad, they, two, they, they go. My mom and dad go downtown to work. My parents are very busy, busy, not free. So I... I do a lot of work. I do a lot of work at home. I do. Number one answers. Have. Go. Do. Number two. My brother doesn't live with us. He have or has. He has. He has an apartment in the city. He has a flat in the city. He go or goes to school all day. He goes. He goes to school every, all day. He goes to school all day. And he do or does. And he does his homework at night. And he does his homework at night. Number two answers has, goes, does, has, goes, does. Three, I have or has a new friend. I have, I have a new friend, new, we say this word, we can pronounce it new, new and new, new. I have a new friend, his name is Jason. We go, goes to the same school, 
we go we go to the same school go and sometimes we do does our homework together we do we do our homework together three answers have go do have go do tell your partner tell your friend about your family this is number C example I have one brother and two sisters my brother is a teacher he has a car so he drives to work I have four brothers and one sister my brother is an accountant he doesn't live in Egypt exercise number five pronunciation phonetics third person singular s endings listen and practice notice the pronunciation of the s endings in this exercise we will know how to pronounce how to say how to read s at the end of the verb like take takes s drive drives so the s z dance dances is page 38 exercise 5 pronunciation third person singular s endings listen and practice notice the pronunciation of the s endings s equals s take takes sleep sleeps s equals z drive drives study studies s equals is dance dances watch watches irregular do does have has you should listen and repeat different times s is s take takes sleep sleeps s z drive drives study studies dance dances watch watch his do does number six conversation I get up at noon look at the picture what do you see Susan's Susan's coffee shop this is a coffee shop it's called Susan's coffee shop waitress waitress different kinds of food what are the people doing they're eating drinking she's drinking they're talking they're talking he's wearing a suit jacket shirt tie page 38 exercise 6 conversation I get up at noon listen and practice let's go to the park on Sunday okay but let's go in the afternoon I sleep late on weekends what time do you get up on Sundays 
At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Really? Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at 1 o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Jake and Amy are talking. Let's go to the park. Go to T soft D. Let's go to the park on Sunday. The park, very big garden for people for having fun, for the public. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. Sunday is day off. This is the weekend. So let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. Weekends, Saturday and Sunday. What time do you get up? Get up, T sof D. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. Early, opposite, late, early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. I get up at 12 o'clock. I get up in the afternoon. In the beginning of the afternoon. Really? Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Breakfast is very important. Then, let's meet at this restaurant at 1 o'clock. Let's meet at this restaurant at 1 o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. T of D. Answer this question. Jake and Amy, they are talking to get out. Jake, where does Jake like to go? Jake likes to go to the park. Does Amy sleep early on weekends? No, Amy doesn't sleep early on weekends. Amy sleeps. Amy sleeps late on weekends. What time does Amy get up on Sundays? Amy gets up. She gets up at 10 o'clock. What about Jack? When does Jack get up? On Sundays, Jack gets up at noon. Does Jack eat breakfast? Sure, he has breakfast every day. Amy and Jack are meeting at this restaurant at one o'clock. Because in this restaurant, they serve breakfast all day.